Hello friends and welcome back to Remens Gaming. Do you play Specialist Falk? Well, there's a good chance you're falking all wrong. Let's look at two kinds of falks, one and two. Everyone has felt the pain of a medic right next to you, hoping they'll revive you, only to watch them staring at your dying body. Please notice me. Die, peasant. Well, that's Falk 1, and we don't want to be Falk 1. We want to be the one that gets in there with wicked fast revives and a whole bunch of drugs and just falks everyone. We have to get in the mindset of a combat medic. You revive everyone all the time revives revives all the time and guess what revives win games that's just facts it takes about one second to revive someone which you can do while moving so don't be afraid to dance about so you don't get shot in your pretty face you can toggle or hold revives based on your settings i prefer to hold since toggles seem to mess up for me but it's personal preference you can also ping a downed player to let them know that you're coming to revive them it's the same as your spot key yes you can use smoke grenades to great effect to cover your revives, or you can throw your manly frag grenade at the enemy and revive in full view of their soon-to-be exploding body. And some people might tell you not to revive them until it's safe. Well, tell them to shut up and be happy you're touching them at all. Yes, sometimes you should wait, but my experience has been more often than not, it is of greater benefit to get as many people alive as fast as possible to deal with the enemy. More guns is usually a greater chance of victory. Besides, if the guy I revived dies right after, maybe I can kill the other guy a little easier now. Okay, let's talk drugs, and oh boy are these things useful. Falk gets a stim pistol to heal herself and others at range. You get six darts at a time, and you can free shoot those bad boys into the ground as little mini med packs. As soon as you shoot a seventh, the first will disappear, so you can only have six on the ground at a time. It's a great tactic to pre-med the ground around cover to speed up the healing process in a firefight without having to bring the stim pistol back out. It's also worth noting it takes pretty much the same time to self-heal as it does to just shoot the ground and walk over the stim. If some non-falk medic starts reviving someone in front of you, which is disgusting and maybe you should feel kind of ashamed that they got to them before you, well, you can shoot the still dead guy's body with a stim, so as soon as they finish their slow revive, they start healing back to full health immediately. You can reduce the number of less effective revives by paying more attention to the revive icons on the minimap and prioritizing those. Listen, Grandma's got a brand new hip and she came to party, so embrace the uber maternal instinct of Grandma Falk and her possible drug addiction and get out there spreading drugs to every partially injured teammate, as well as bringing as many people back to life with your loving embrace as possible. As always, God bless. Now get out there and shoot someone in the face.